We all heard the story of a guy liking a girl and he goes off to chase her, blah blah blah. This is the same story but just with roles reversed. We have a very passionate girl here madly in love with this elite guy from her class. Oh look, there they go on a date now. Hello. Hit the menu. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we don't have anything to drink. Uh, give us a moment. Okay. Thank you. Well, Ling, have you decided what to eat? Mm. Can I buy? Actually, I got something I wanted to tell you. Huh? What thing? Um, so, like, you know, we've been dating for quite a while, so I've been thinking whether, like, we should um, bring our relationship to the next level. You know, I've been thinking about that also, but mm. I think we need to get my parents to approve over. Oh. Cause like you know they are very strict about me, they don't know I'm dating you, okay. and it's like, cause they really want me to get a girlfriend, they can support their their green beliefs and their green lifestyle. Cause as you know they see on the Singapore Environment Council, mm -hmm. and they are very very green centric. Oh. Singapore Environment Council launched the Singapore Green Labeling Scheme in May 1992 with the purpose to endorse industrial and consumer products that have less undesirable effects on our environment. Singapore Green Label is a seal of endorsement on companies' environmentally friendly clothes to prevent the abuse of greenwashing. This has proved to be advantageous for Green Label certified products that have become more marketable and readily accepted by consumers and businesses when they are making a purchase. Wow, so complicated. Mm, but okay, I'll try. So what can we do to get your parents to go? Um, maybe we can start by getting, a, getting them to give their Environmentally friendly. Okay, it gives sounds good. Okay. Should I order now? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Hey, hey, so what do you buy? Yeah. Eh? Broccoli? Yeah. What kind of game is this? Green one. Come on, my parents will accept one. Ah, mm, my girlfriend bought this for you. What's this? It's an environmentally friendly game. What is this? It's green! Green? It's green! green. Environmental! Ah, green. Hey, no, so, sorry, Pa! No, Pa! No, Pa, no! Pa! Hey, cannot get out. Change, change, change. You already cannot. Ah, ah my mind really hurt. We go home and cook off. Oh, okay, long. Ah, maybe I should probably research on what, is, what exactly is green sanctuary. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like there are a few companies who are into green branding. Maybe that's what he meant. Hmm, maybe I should ask some people about what their opinions are on green bending to find out more. Uh, something like environmental conservation, sustainable practices. Uh, they try to minimize their waste and their impact on the environment. Uh. Okay, companies like IKEA, IKEA they are promoting the usage of bringing your own plastic bag. Uh, if you use their plastic bag, you need to pay I think 10 cents. I think they are doing well on it. Starbucks, because uh, like the tissue paper they use is actually like recycled paper, so yeah, they are example of green brand. Yep. Hey, can up, can up, can up, can up. You know, just now I was, uh, uh, I collected a lot of responses from the public, and then I asked my friends, then I finally understand what's a green brand, what a green brand is about. So, I was looking through the magazine, and then I, was, I saw Body Shop. Then Body Shop say that they're nature lover, um, they help the environment and all that, so why don't we get a gift from Body Shop from parents? You know, I was Ling. Because my daily used to tell me that every green company must fulfill three criteria. Oh, what criteria? Climate effect, chemical use, and the resources used. Uh, okay, but what do they actually mean? The three criteria Kenneth has mentioned are climate impact, chemicals used, and resources or materials used in the production. Climate impact refers to the greenhouse emissions created through production. Chemicals involved in the production of the product, such as if the organization I use is using hazardous substances like PVC or solvent adhesive. And finally, resource consumption means the percentage by weight of recycled, organic and renewable materials used in the goods production. Okay, uh, that was weird, but back to this. But I still don't get it. Why body shop do not fulfill these three criteria? Because Body Shop has met one out of three criteria. Firstly, climate impact. Body Shop partnered with new light -like technologies to produce product packaging made out of pollutant gases instead of commonly used oil based plastics. These pollutant gases are converted into air carbon, 
a form of thermoplastic, and this serves as recycling. Second criteria, chemical use. Body Shop has its own eco symbol, which claims that products have met non toxic, strict biodegradability standards and limit packaging waste. However, this eco symbol does not comply with any international standards and not supported by certifications. This makes Body Shop liable for greenwashing. Third criteria materials consumption. Body Shop buys its palm oil for its products from Daybon Organics, an organization that push for the eviction of peasant families in order to develop new plantations. This is in direct contradiction with their claims of creating sustainable trading relationships with disadvantaged communities around the world. So how can Body Shop improve? Body Shop should adopt manufacturing processes that conform to international eco-friendly standards and strive to apply for green certifications that support its operations. This ensures that its processes are truly eco-friendly and conforms to the three criteria. They should also implement measures such as engaging in innovation as well as improving their formulas and processes to have an environmental or social benefit and to reduce their environmental footprint through their processes and products. Oh, okay, I get it now. Hmm. Hello, Em. I need help. Now. What did you happen? Oh my god, Em, you know what happened? Because uh? I need to buy a gift for Kenneth's parents, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I went to buy a broccoli because I'm going to buy something green related. Broccoli? Yeah, green what? You don't bimbo, obviously you're referring to environmentally green, eh? Right? Yeah, after that, then I realized, oh. So when I went to ask the public for their opinions about green branding, then after uh -huh. that, I found Body Shop. Because Body Shop is a nature lover, right? Then they like to help the environment also. Uh. They keep saying that they want to help the environment. So I thought Body Shop was a big choice. That's okay, right? Uh. Yeah, then I went to ask, Ken ask Kenneth. Now then he said cannot, because his daddy said got three criteria, then Body Shop never fulfilled. What three criteria? Uh, chemicals involved, climate impact, materi materials and resources used. Yeah, if I never remember wrongly. Oh, I remember already. That time the green marketing lecture, remember? He, the prof got said that there's one company that fulfills these three criteria. I remember these three criteria quite, quite vividly. Huh? Go, man. Go, you know Timberland? Oh, yeah, yeah I remember Timberland, but, but why? Timberland fulfilled the three criteria because... In 2014, Timberland surpassed its goal of planting 5 million trees by 2015. In fact, since 2001, Timberland has planted more than 7.3 million trees. Since trees help to cool the environment, this allowed Timberland to do its part for the first criteria of climate impact. Secondly, for chemicals use, they are currently 98% PVC free in their production and is using 55 grams of organic compounds per pair of footwear. Moreover, Timberland will be spearheading a project aimed at reducing or eliminating the use of hazardous substances. Lastly, for materials consumption, Timberland pledged to increase the use of eco-preferred materials in every product it makes after setting new environmental targets. The pledge to use the most responsible products and reduce environmental impact is outlined in Timberland's new environmental product standards. Therefore, from this, we can see how Timberland has fulfilled the three criteria of climate impact, chemicals used, and materials consumption. Well, oh, Bessie, let me smile! I love you! See, I don't want to the lecture. Yeah, yeah, I'll try not to sleep so much in lecture next time. Okay, wait, I need to go. I need to go yeah, and buy, go. The, buy the, the shoes. Help me pick, help me pick. Okay, okay go, go, yeah, go, 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 go. Okay, so tell me this time you're going to get a proper gift from my father. Don't worry, I have done my research in the form of best friend Emily. And she told me that this was the best fit. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Pa. I brought my girlfriend here to meet you. Hi. This is Wan Ling. Hello, hello. Hello, Uncle. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Uh, we got a gift from you, for you from Timberland. Wow, mm. so nice. Thank you, thank you. We spent a lot of time to find the gifts so for you, Lucky Pa. Mm. Wow, you really know how to appease our uncle's taste. Uh. You all know that Timberland itself, right, is actually one of the uh, global companies around the world that actually sus uh, support sustainable operations. Like despite its many accolades, it actually uh, continued to improve on its efforts such as planting 10 million trees and having aiming for 100% PVC free apparels by 2020 itself. Yeah, as you know, consumers like us right, are becoming more and more eco-conscious. Yeah, and uh, we cannot have companies that just strive for profit itself only, but we need to have companies that strive for profit that benefits both the humans and the environment. Wow. Wow. Actually, while we were searching for the gift, I actually learned a lot about green branding. Also. Oh, really? Mm. Come, come, tell me more about the green branding. Okay. So 
I hope that all of you have learned something from our video and will apply it when you go shopping in the future. Thank you for being such wonderful audience.